How goes it, boys? Hope you're all doing well today. My name's Tyler. I go by Zany Online, and welcome to another video. Today, I just want to go ahead and show some of you how I go about increasing performance on OpenBSD and making everything just more better. There we go. That's definitely the proper way to say that. So the first file that you're going to want to pay attention to, and I'll go ahead and vim it just in case I want to make changes, but I probably won't. I might comment on something. Um, but go into your login.conf inside of your Etsy folder. And I'll enter my password. And once you go in here, this is where you can change the default resource limitations for different users or the default system itself and what i recommend doing is whatever user that you're going to be using add them to the staff group if you haven't already and then go down in here and modify the staff group logins as such um, this will definitely increase um, your just performance in general um, and quite frankly it's kind of necessary for some of the stuff that you're going to be doing. Now, I, I'm not positive. The files or the uh, values for these things here could maybe go up. Um, I'm not all too positive. I just know this is what I use and it greatly helps. Um, I don't know how far you could push it. If you do know and uh, these some of these values could go higher and you run at them, let me know because well, I'm, I'm down for, you know, not leaving performance on the table. Why not? And then we'll also uh, go ahead and we'll vim also into the Etsy sysctl.conf. These two files here are really Im important for increasing performance on OpenBSD. And in here, these are the values that I have. All of the SHM variables. So anything that has an SHM in it, you want to pay attention to that. I have a 32 gigabyte system. Change these by what you have. So if you have 16 gigabytes, cut the SHM variables in half. You know, if you have eight gigabytes, a fourth, you get it. Except for the SHM max, the 999, the crazy variable there, just keep that BS there. That, that one right there, don't go by your the size you know of your RAM or anything. Uh, that's for Chrome and Chrome's a hog and it'll work as far as I know with uh, however much RAM you have. You know, it, like Chrome, Chrome's just just a hog. But um, most of these values in here are really good. The um, like max proc, max files, ma uh, the buff cache percent. All of this stuff is really good for getting better performance. And also this mock depth allow aperture. You probably, if you're running AMD and you don't want to get screen tearing, you're probably going to set this to one. Um, I've read online and f personally found out that two here uh, is better for getting rid of screen tearing and actually having the option set properly. Uh, with Xorg for screen for you know not having screen tearing or not Xorg but you get it not not having screen tearing in the, in the environment it actually sets properly so yeah uh, most likely you're just going to have that set to one if you're going to set it at all um, but yeah that's that's pretty much all I got to say there and then these three down here I copied from root BSD who uh, if you're getting interested in OpenBSD or BSD in general, and you want to find out, you know, a great channel to go watch, RootBSD has a fantastic channel. Um, there's also another channel, I believe, THFR is the name of the channel. Um, I believe they do more gaming on OpenBSD content, but it's obviously interesting as shit, so go check it out. But uh, I copied these uh, three here from his sysctl, and they're fantastic because I've just noticed a speed difference using shit. It's just, I, I, I really can't describe it. I just have noticed a difference on the internet. Just, just have. So there you go. But these are the two files that I recommend 
editing, playing with if you want to get better performance on OpenBSD. And hopefully these helped you. I'm going to try and remember to, before this video goes up, push up my um, configs, which uh, if you go to my GitLab, in my dot files, there should be an Etsy folder. And in inside of that Etsy folder, you'll see the sysctl login.conf. Um, I'll probably also put my do as configuration in there, um, potentially some other stuff, but hopefully that helps you guys. And that link will be down below as well as my discord link. And, you know, on the way down there, hit the like button and subscribe button, no, you know, the notification bell, all the typical YouTube stuff. And, uh, cause you know, it's appreciated, but anyway, when you make it down into the description, there's also going to be a Patreon link down there and I should go ahead and thank my patrons cause they're awesome. And I'm recording this right after recording the video that you'll, will now be yesterday's video. Uh, so, and I still haven't looked. So if I'm missing a Patreon or a patron, I'm sorry, I'll fix it, you know, not now, but in the next video. Okay, because I'll actually look after this, I swear. But Russell Willis, Joshua Lee, Papa Smurf, Art Center, Seneca, and I did that all out of order. And now I can't, now I'm not sure that I miss, uh, I, I got everybody. Russell Willis, Seneca, Art Center, Joshua Lee, Papa Smurf, Matt from the Linux cast. Yeah, I think I got everybody. Look. Thank all of you guys for your support. It means a lot. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.